Hey Matt, thank you very much for the uh, the intro and the opportunity to talk about Bosch Communications. Yeah, no worries, uh, Sean. We're going to see you at the Bosch Technology Forum on October uh, 19th and 20th in, in the DC area in Alexandria, Virginia, and um, you'll be there for two purposes. One is in our exhibit area to have um, some in-depth conversations with um, end users, integrators, distributors, uh, but you'll also be showcased uh, in one of the presentations. Um, that's being uh, put on, and uh, perhaps you could explain to me what um, what what it is that you're going to be talking about, and and talking about it at the exhibits as well. But what you're going to be talking about in the in the presentation that is something um, that people are not going to want to miss, right? So, in, in other discussions I've had with presenters, they've talked about technologies or apps or software. What is it that you're bringing to the table to talk about um, at the forum? Well, first off, I'm just excited to be in a room with other people. I mean, uh, as we've had some of our other technology shows get uh, pushed back or canceled altogether, uh, just really excited to, to get back in front of people. And um, I'm so much looking forward to that. And uh, from the presentation standpoint goes, I think we're going to take a look at how, how you know, the Bosch communication package uh, really can interface with other low voltage being like our security portfolio, cameras, access, intrusion, fire, et cetera, uh, and how that can make the buildings in which we, we work, we live, we play a lot safer and a lot smarter. And um, I think that's, that's the focus of the presentation. A lot of people don't know that we do audio uh, and we are very much uh, a, a collection of brands. So from a Bosch standpoint, Bosch is the parent company, we make Bosch audio products, but we also have a lot of products for performance, for, for conferencing. So it's a, it's a, lot of a lot of things that people may not be aware of, and we're just gonna try to highlight some of that and um, hopefully um, have some great conversations. Yeah, I know that um, two of the things that they're gonna be uh, exposed to and, and experiencing um, number one, there's going to be a, a Bosch audio system in the exhibit area, like, like we were hinting at there earlier, um, that will be actually um, sending out our messages about the presentations, like don't miss the next presentation, getting ready to start. There'll be a system that's there um, to take care of that with, with speakers for the room. And also your Decentis conferencing system will be used in the presentation room. And what I think is cool about that system is that instead of having to have a bunch of speakers around or, or one speaker that's super loud so that everyone in the room can hear. Uh, each table will have its own um, desktop unit, wireless, uh, uh, that, that um, allows whoever's sitting near it to, to hear through the speakers that are on it and push a button to talk so that everyone in the room can actually hear them. So um, aside from hearing you speak about it, they'll actually get, get to use some of the stuff, right? Absolutely, that's important. And from an audio standpoint, to get hands-on, uh, really hear what something sounds like. Uh, it's been so difficult for us to do Teams meetings for speaker presentations or conferencing <laughs> solutions when you can't hear and fully experience the, the audio quality alone. Um, so again, to get back in front of people is great. Uh, yeah, the Desensus wireless uh, product line is is probably the most robust wireless conferencing solution that's out there on the market. And um, it really does start with just audio quality. Um, but these things are meeting management organizers, if you will, uh, where um, you have kind of a rule of order. You're gonna push to speak or you're gonna push and, and chime in and the chairman lets you speak. So it becomes a, a way to make meetings way more efficient. Um, and again, uh, clean up the sound quality quite a bit. And then we can in interface with other third-party devices for distance learning applications. So really a lot of functionality there. Um, so yeah, it should, should be great use of the product. All right, Sean. Well, um, I appreciate you taking some time out to explain to folks what you'll be speaking about and how what you're speaking about is going to help them uh, with their business and, and with the safety and security at their facility. So look forward to seeing you on October 19th and 20th uh, in the D.C. area in Alexandria, Virginia. That's it. I was prepared to go for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. No, thanks, man.